Goodbye to a world is a song that can recreate nostalgia in its music and in its lyrics. And if you watch till the end, I'll show you how I discovered Goodbye to a World and how that made the song more nostalgic for me. But first, we have to go back in time. Goodbye to a World is a contender for my favorite song of the album. It was the first time that I tried to work with sound fonts and, and 64 type sounds and, and write stuff that was really channeling my nostalgia from early 2000s, late 90s and games in that vein. There was a huge, enormous thunderstorm outside. It was like a windstorm. It was one of those days where like the sky turns green, you know, and a huge tree had collapsed over my driveway and so there's no getting out of the house and that was the atmosphere that i had when i wrote goodbye to a world and maybe that informed the title and theme of the song this notion of world destruction of a world disappearing is is really dear to me i've talked about it in interviews before but i was very much attached to these online worlds and world of warcraft type stuff i was really into a, a game called star wars galaxies and another one called city of heroes and the thing about these games is that when an online role-playing game that millions of people are connected to goes away, 10 years down the line, you can just plug in the cartridge and bask in the nostalgia. It's not like that. It's once those games are gone, those worlds that you very much immersed yourself in are gone. The whole idea of like beautiful apocalypse is really evocative to me. I love that. This isn't a zombie death thing here. This is, this is like pretty, you know, this is a beautiful world kind of disappearing in a clean way is sort of how I see it. Imagine being an EDM artist like Porter Robinson back in 2014. You can either make the same EDM beats that everyone would love or risk it all. So Porter went on to write music that would make him happy. It started with a single language in 2013 and the bridge was burnt. Porter would get inspiration from Kanye West's graduation and Daft Punk's discovery as well as video games such as Zelda and Warcraft. These albums serving as a foundation for Porter's new songwriting and those games serving as the theme of nostalgia for Porter. And drawing from these influences, Porter began writing more melodic songs, giving birth to his first album Worlds, which contained Goodbye to a World. <laughs> So how does Goodbye to a World recreate nostalgia? Well, take a listen to this. Thank you, I'll say goodbye soon, though it's the end of the world, don't blame yourself now. And if it's true It's the lyrics And they mention an apocalyptic landscape that symbolizes the fading away of the different worlds that Porter was once a part of Hence, goodbye to a world And that took me 3 years to figure out These worlds being Star Wars Galaxies, City of Heroes, and World of Warcraft The latter also being a game I share a deep connection with Well not really Warcraft, but the original Dota 1 I played a lot of Dota with my brothers And I had to deal with them moving on And that's reflected in the title of the song goodbye of the oh, uh, goodbye to a world it serves as a farewell to something that was once larger than life now reduced to something forgotten by many of my peers but there is a brighter side to these lyrics in the song the next part goes like this and if it's true i will surround you and give life to our world that's our own. Let's go back to Dota. Dota 1 may be dead, but Valve took on the idea and created Dota 2. A new world in the same vein as Dota 1, but with their own twist. A world that's their own. Let's go to another world. A world that still thrives to this day. Some of us create many worlds in Minecraft, all with different stories, friends, and we all at some point left those worlds to be forgotten. But sometimes we come back, because these old worlds give us nostalgia. And using the meaning of goodbye to a world, when we create a new one, we get a breath of fresh air as we embark on these new worlds and create new memories. And I believe that this is what Goodbye to a World is trying to tell us that nostalgia is a mixture of both good and bad, the present and the past. Whew. That was a lot.
Let's take a breather and talk about the music theory for once. The song has the chord progression of D major 7, C sharp minor, B minor, then F sharp minor. That repeats throughout the whole song. In the context of Goodbye to a World, this chord progression works so well because of the descending root note for the first three chords. Then, going into the minor third, the song's key, which will be important later. The song is in 3-4 and has a tempo of about 96 BPM. Not too fast or slow. While the song is in A major, it specifically uses is the mode of Lydian, with D being its root. According to a research article by Temporally Tan 2013, Lydian is less happy than Ionian or more commonly known as the major key, which explains how Goodbye to a World isn't sad or happy, but a mixture of both emotions, more commonly known as bittersweet, an emotion associated with nostalgia. In a study done by Barrett at all, it was seen that nostalgia is an emotion that makes use of both sadness and happiness, two contrasting emotions, and how feelings of nostalgia are often associated with feelings of bittersweetness. I think it's fair to say that this song abuses dynamics in the best way, with its quietest part right next to the loudest part of the song. Goodbye to a World makes use of the contrast with the help of dynamics throughout the song, and while the song uses the same chord progression, the song changes drastically using a three-act structure in its music. The first part serving as a larger-than-life exposition to the song. I showed one of my friends this song for the first time and he actually said that the song sounded like a soundtrack for the end of the world, which is fitting. The second part contains both the quiet calm before the storm before exploding into the climax of the song. The third part quiets down as the song comes to a close both story-wise and and musically. Porter may have used this structure because three act structures provide a lot of movement and tension between acts, and it gives people a climax that eventually ends the story. The song does a great job of recreating the feeling of nostalgia that Porter mentioned earlier. How he would play in those worlds for so long until they would no longer exist, eventually leading to him saying goodbye those worlds. I would talk about the instrumentation of the song, but I'm not very interested in that sort of topic. So if you know anything about that, then go down to the comments. I've explained how the song recreates nostalgia, and I'll show you how it's nostalgic for me. Most people have heard of Goodbye to a World from Porter himself, but I did not have that. Back in 2021, when the zombie outbreak was happening, I was mostly alone. I found an interest in liminal spaces. Having to be online 24-7 because of the pandemic, I felt intrigued by the idea of places that felt nostalgic, even though I was never there. And one of the first videos I saw was from David Crypt, titled pictures that were strangely familiar so i clicked on the video and it had a bunch of images that were funnily enough strangely nostalgic and i was so intrigued by this concept but that's for another video what i also noticed was the song in the background it sounded so alone, so desolate, and so nostalgic even. The person singing felt like a friend that was slowly fading away from my memory. And I was pretty sure I've never heard of the song before. That part made me feel so sad, so bittersweet. I saw a comment that said the title was Goodbye to a World. And to this day, the song still reminds me of that time of my life. And weirdly enough, that felt nostalgic. Now how about 2014, when Worlds was actually released? Well, as you've already heard, I wasn't really a fan of Porter during that time. And I wasn't even a fan of music during that time, I didn't even listen to anything. But if you were a fan of Porter during 2014, I would love to hear what you thought about Goodbye to a World, and what you think about it now. And while you do that, here's another song analysis I did but for Amori. Yeah. 